reflector and ask myself, how can I be more honest with myself and others? And the answer to that question is pretty simple, by being my true self. But what does it really mean to be our true, authentic self? You see, the early years of our lives, we get conditioned a certain way. We are born into certain families with certain beliefs, and most of the time we accept these beliefs without questioning. These beliefs then become deeply planted into our subconscious and often become part of our identity. This gives us some sense of self, but is this our true self or our false self? This is another one of these very many deep questions. As children, teenagers and in adolescence, we might copy others thinking that what they do is cool, we want to feel liked and accepted, we want to fit in and get a sense of belonging. We think this might give us some sort of recognition, so we mimic their behavior, which they have probably picked up from someone else too. As we go about life, we pick up more beliefs from the people in our circles. At that point, many beliefs are already deeply imprinted in our subconscious and we treat them as our own. We don't look at them as beliefs, but rather as facts about ourselves. But again, is this our real truth? And if this doesn't resonate with you or apply to you, maybe you see the world from a different perspective. We all have a different perception of the world. The perception of the world I have might be something completely different from yours. And even though both of us might be standing next to each other looking at the same thing, you might see it completely from a different perspective. I share these thoughts based on my own experience and based on my own perception. And I do this with the hope that people who feel different or perhaps alienated from the masses can find some relief and comfort in these messages. So let's go back to the beliefs. Some of the beliefs we might have may be serving as well. They might be inspiring to us and can help us find and explore our natural talents, what we are truly about. Others may be harmful to us. They might keep us small, limited and scared in the years to come, if not for a lifetime. This is the way programming actually works. Programs are just repeated patterns, behaviors, and rhetorical terms which have been accepted to give us some sense of who we are or who we should be in the eyes of others. But we actually rarely question our social conditioning. But just because you have heard something over and over again doesn't mean it is true. Just because someone has told you something about you so many times and you have accepted so deeply within the whole level of your being doesn't mean this is who you truly are. What if that person was wrong? Well, you might argue and they say that several people said the same thing about you. Well, maybe. Here's my answer to that. I feel that when we strongly believe something, we begin to see the evidence of that around us. We subconsciously look for confirmations of those beliefs. And we will be presented with situations and individuals who will be pointing these insecurities and beliefs back to us like reflection in a mirror. And again, you might have a different outlook on this than me. That's okay. It's my perception. And you have your perception. So how can we be more true to ourselves? How can we be more true to who we really are? 
question your beliefs. If these beliefs are serving you well, keep them. If they are unhelpful to you, begin the process of letting go of them. If something gives you a conflicting feeling, a sense that something isn't right, listen to that feeling. Even if the majority of people are following the crowd, if it doesn't feel right to you, it probably isn't. Don't follow the masses just because everyone else does. They can mislead you. They can easily mislead you. Listen to your feelings. Listen to your intuition. What are you naturally drawn to? Explore it. That's how you start finding your true self. That's how you come to your own personal realizations. And this way you can be also more true to other people as well. I'm not saying we will ever fully let go of the imprints within us and nor am I saying all the beliefs we have adopted from our families, teachers or from our circles are necessarily bad. All I'm saying is to question the ones that don't make us feel good or are limiting us in some way. What I'm saying is to keep only what feels good and let go what doesn't. Keep learning, keep exploring, keep questioning everything, keep growing, keep expanding. And by doing so, you can start coming to the realizations what you are truly about. Embrace your real truth.